My name is Jason Brubaker. Welcome to Remind Blog, the home of Remind, this graphic novel I've been working on for ever. And uh, here's a quick video tutorial that um, shows the way I figured out how to make word balloons the easiest way possible. I've done it a couple different ways over the years, but this is by far the easiest I've found, and they look the best. So my background layer right now is just a flat layer of my finished art you can see it's just a big flat piece of art what I'm gonna do is create a folder and call this text this is where all my text will belong create a layer inside there we'll call this balloons now in the balloons layer I'm gonna just select the lasso tool and just draw some rough shapes. We can select a nice greenish color just so we can see the difference between the word balloon and the background right now. What I'm gonna do is double click on the word balloons layer itself and this brings up this this box that shows all my different you know layer styles layer style for uh, that I can apply to it. And what we want to use is stroke down at the bottom. Click on stroke and if you have stroke highlighted you'll get this little group of adjustment things you can do which I select 4 as the size. And make sure you have position of your stroke on the inside of your selection and everything else is fine unless you want the line color to be different okay and there you have it you have yourself a nice little kind of sloppy word balloon but I like the kind of organic feel to my things you can, you can kind of go in and clean up some of the layers if you want or you know now I'm gonna go into my text layer I'm going to pick uh, Comic Sans. Oh no, wait. I'll pick a uh, Brubaker Comic Font. This is a good one. Let's see, i got to make the font a little smaller. And go, hey, what's going on here? What do you know? Same color. Hey, okay, that's my hammer. Let's position it. There you go.